Aside from the Scarus worms, there are other parasitic nematodes which infects humans. Necator americanus is a species of hookworm, commonly known as the New World hookworm. It is found in Africa, Asia, and Europe, but is predominantly found in the Americas and in Australia. In the United States, the largest concentration is found in the southern and southwestern United States. In the rest of the world, N. americanus is found in tropical climates. Uh, Necator americanus, together with other uh, health-related parasites, I mean, you look into this and you always have to think about five things, okay? What's the root of entry? Where's the site of infection? What's the causative agent? What's the vector and or intermediate host? And then what do you call the symptoms or the actual condition itself? Uh, Negator americanus together with other parasites like Trichinella spiralis, Trichuris trichura, uh, all of them are relevant because of human medical purposes. And all of them have different routes of infection, different intermediate host end, uh, and or vectors. So I would say that you need to look into these if you want to study more about them. In the Philippines, uh, I'm not up to date with the DOH standards, pero uh, the current Secretary of Health has noted to us that Parasite infection is still on the rise, especially in the far-flung areas away from uh, the urbanized cities, where medicine and other means to diagnose parasitism is not yet as advanced. Hookworms can cause intestinal blood loss, which leads to iron deficiency anemia and ascites, which is the accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity, causing abdominal swelling. Its symptoms include a rash developing and producing ground itch around penetration sites, usually on the hands and feet, mild cough and pharyngeal irritation, intestinal blood loss, epigastric pain or tenderness, nausea, exertional dyspnea, pain in the lower extremities and joints, sternal pain, headache, fatigue, and impotence. Humans can become infected with Necator americanus by coming into contact with something that contains their egg or larvae. It can be acquired if the infected person defecates outside, if the infected person's feces is used as fertilizer, and mainly by walking barefoot on contaminated soil. The deposited eggs on the soil can then mature and hatch, releasing larvae. The larvae mature into a form that can penetrate the skin of humans, and they are now infected. In some cases, it can also be transmitted through the ingestion of larvae and directly infect humans. An infected human being will have eggs in their stool. Under favorable conditions, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, the larvae will hatch within two days. The first rhabditiform larva will emerge. It matures and molts twice within 5 to 10 days. Once the larvae have matured to the third larval stage, or the filiform larva, they can invade the epithelium. During the third larval stage, the hookworm is about 600 microns in length. Under the appropriate growth conditions, the hookworm will remain alive for weeks in the soil. If another human walks barefoot on the soil where the larvae reside, they can become infected. After five or more minutes of skin contact, the larvae will penetrate the skin. Globally, there are 700 million people infected with hookworms, including 44 million pregnant women. Intestinal worms produce a wide range of symptoms, including intestinal manifestations, diarrhea, abdominal pain, general malaise, and weakness. Hookworms cause chronic intestinal blood loss that result in anemia. Latest estimates indicate that more than 880 million children are in need of treatment for these parasites. The most effective prevention technique is to not walk barefoot in areas where hookworms are common and where they may be contamination of the soil. Locations for outdoor activities should be considered if there will be skin-to-soil contact. They generally start with itchiness and a small rash caused by an allergic reaction in the area that the larva entered your skin. This is generally followed by diarrhea as the hookworms grow in your intestine. 
Other symptoms include abdominal pain, colic or cramping and excessive crying in infants, intestinal cramps, nausea, a fever, blood in your stool, a loss of appetite, and an itchy rash. A person with a heavy infection may experience abdominal pain, diarrhea, loss of appetite, weight loss, fatigue, and anemia. The physical and cognitive growth of children can be affected. Common among children of ages between 5 to 10, the enterobius vermicularis or the pinworms are tiny narrow worms that are white and less than half an inch long. Worm infection leads to an enterobiasis or oxyuriasis and causes itching around the anus that can lead to difficulty in sleeping and restlessness. Pinworm infection is a type of intestinal worm infection. The disorder is spread by swallowing or inhaling the tiny eggs of the pinworm, which is why this disease is common to children of young ages, since it is the stage where thumbsucking is common.